The world celebrates Valentine's Day and Christian on Max Ash Wednesday. A fresh crisis may be brewing in the Labour Party, LP, as the party's national treasurer, Mrs. Oluchiopara, on Monday demanded that the national chairman, Julius Abu Reranda, an account of party funds totaling over 3.5 billion naira, being proceeds of sale forms and sundry fundraisers for the 2023 general elections. The treasurer alleged that Abure prevented her from exercising her constitutionally assigned role of handling the party's accounts. She equally claimed that the chairman has shunned all entreaties to open the party's books for scrutiny after the sale of expression of interest and nomination forms closed before the 2023 general elections. Is this one crisis too many for the Labour Party? This is the Eastern Eye. I am Alex Obodo. Welcome to the Eastern Eye on Afia TV, where we X-ray the political, social, and economic developments around us. We are reaching you live from Enugu, Southeast Nigeria. Mm. The Labour Party has been dealing with post-election aftershocks, following various issues threatening to implode the party. But will this latest crisis be the straw weighing down on the camel's back? My guest tonight is Barrister Kasmi Abu, is the chairman of the Labour Party in Enugu State. And he joins me tonight here on the Eastern Eye. Thank you, Barrister Abu, for joining me. In. So, Thank you for having me. And everybody. And what will is the work in this time in your party? Yeah, there's a book called One Week, One, One Trouble. Trouble. It, looks, it looks like every three months something will, will cook and, and start boiling in your party. What, what's it this time? Uh, well, um, it's a little bit unfortunate. As you see it, one week, one trouble. And um, I no one expected this from the party. Though it has been um, in the offing for some time. The party have been managing the crisis, the situation. After our papa and some other four members did what they did during the election time. I see it's unfortunate because um, Oluchua Opera, who is our TR, has been on the saddle for eight years plus. And um, the tenor is coming to an end. There would have been um, a convention by last year. But uh, at Edo, I was the one that moved the motion for extension of uh, their tenor for two years. But um, His Excellency P2B and TUC and the NLS intervened and made it one year, which will end by 2023. March this year. And we are looking at the, the election convention coming in, elections, zoning formulas, and so on. Because if you come to that particular level, but as, as it is now, when Salam, late Salam was our president, our chairman, Joseph Abule was the secretary, Ojabara was equal the treasurer. But on by Last uh, 2020 December, Salem died. And um, one Maria, one Miss Maria took over as the acting chairman of the party. But in Edo State, that was, that was on December 2020, the party removed Maria and elected um, Abure as our acting chairman, <clears throat> interim chairman, and left Olucho Opara, left, um, elected um, Farouk Ibrahim as our secretary. And we continue that way. <clears throat> Unfortunately, this crisis that is brewing, we didn't know that Oluchi has something in, his ba in her bags for the party. But I would like to say this. <clears throat> it's very simple. Olucho Opara is the treasurer of the party. And she was part and parcel of the sale of forms for 2020 general elections. Because um, I remember when we went to Abuja to buy a form for Edo Oga and other candidates. And our late uh, candidate, 
We are all there. She was the one that uh, received her money. We paid into the account. They gave us receipts. She went and wrote the receipt and signed it. And chairman signed in my presence. So all the monies I came to the party went to the boss. Her allegation of uh, collecting money by the national chairman um, without payment to the account is really very unfortunate. It is a false allegation because everybody has a receipt. And um, Oluchi cannot tell us that she's not aware of how, how, how it happens to our money. I'm aware that all the meetings we had in Abuja and the payments made, Oluchi was the one that cashed the money and paid us. Directly, all the chairmen and secretaries, NEC meetings, NWC meetings, and secondary meetings we have been going to Abuja during a proper crisis. We were paid our transport fare and sleeping allowance and so on. And only she was the one paying the money directly to us. So she is, she, she, she performs was performing her duties, her, she, was performing she, her she has access to the that account. Is where, that is where I'm coming to. Mm. She is performing her functions, doing all those things. And I wonder why the allegation of I'm not doing my functions. You have a treasurer, you keep the accounts, you keep the checks. We present a similar account of the of the of the of the of the party and the audit report as case might might be in conjunction with the financial secretary and the chairman and we have had all these things done in our party so the issue of that she was bribed she was bribed by the national chairman should not even come up they bribed you 2022 and 2023 and 2024 you not know, raise the issue you raised the issue of she raised the issue of certain allegations which was to be handled by the end of this year. But is this within is the it, party? Yes. Is, is this not rather interesting that this allegation is coming almost one year after people who won elections were sworn? That is what I'm saying. So well, the, my, my question again: Why what, did it take the this long? Yes, the motive so is if, very, if there was something. The motive on. is very simple. You know, the tenure is coming to an end. And Oluji has served for eight years plus as treasurer. And she's looking forward to endorsement by the party under that, that, that term of year, uh, four years. And if you look at our, our party, national chairman is from the south. Oluji is from the south. National general secretary is from the, from the south. And youth leader is from the south, southeast. And the six geopolitical zones, our positions are not widely spread. Okay. So people are clamoring for allocation of positions to their zones. Geographical spread. And I know that Oluchi will lose that position. If we get if we get national chairman coming from south south, the secretary will come from the north, the treasurer might come from north central. Or south south, not southeast again, because Ojuku claim that Ojuku is the national government secretary is from southeast, from Anambra state. All this is from Anambra, married to married to Imo. Then national leader is from Imo state. So these three positions must go out of southeast. And she has been lobbying behind doors that she should be retained. That is the problem. So that's the real reason. Coupled with she, the fact she that she has been working as a mo for upper group. How is it possible, though? Because uh, I, I don't know where. It's possible because I'm, it was I'm, once you were mo, you were mo. I'm not a member of your party yes, or any well, other party. It's, it's, it's now out. She has been yeah. suspended today. Oh, interesting. Have, yes, the end of this suspended her for six months because she was given an order to appear before the disciplinary committee today, and she failed to appear. Hmm. So at the end of the day. The end of this met and slammed well, the special well, what, what, what was the composition of that disciplinary committee? Who and who? Uh, well, uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't committee. say for sure, but because I know that it must come from the six political zones. I wouldn't know for sure, but it must come from all the zones. But let me ask you the chairman is not a member of that committee. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, there's an issue that is very fundamental. And this, you know, never thought it wouldn't be the first political party that has an issue 
with how farms were sold and the monies realized. The APC also quarreled with uh, the former chairman, uh, uh, Senator uh, Adamu. Adamu. Uh, yes. Uh, they, they, they also accused him of misappropriating <laughs> funds, from sale of funds, and the expression of interest. And I think the BDP also had their fair share of that issue. In fact, all the major political parties complained about how monies accruing from nomination forms and expression of interest forms were handled. Is it just a question of it's the Labour Party's turn to experience this? But let me also ask, isn't there supposed to be a proper record of how these things happened? Why would the Treasurer be the one asking this and not even any other officer? Not the the assistant secretary, not the secretary, not a youth leader, is the treasurer who supposedly knows where every cobble has gone to. Well, um, I think I have said it that um, Oluchi is a more. Oluchi is working for a Kaba. Oluchi is working for a particular sort of people, which is that our other part group that have failed in their bid on Sitabure. They failed in their bid on Sitabure. On Sitabure. They failed completely. The party neck said, we are not doing your line because it is not a line of honesty. Okay. We'll, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we will delve more into the issues within the Labour Party. Stay with us here on the Eastern Eye. You're welcome back to the Eastern Eye here on Afia TV. We are reaching you live from Enugu, Southeast Nigeria with me, Alex Obodo. And I still have in the studio, Barrister Kasmia Abu, the Labour Party chairman in Enugu State. And we've been talking about what's going on within the Labour Party at the national level. And we've been trying to make sense of why the treasurer, who is supposedly in charge of the financial records and also, unquote, in charge of the money. That's what treasurer is. You keep the money. But of course, we know that the money is in the bank. But... She knows where all the, at least she was able to put an amount, meaning she has an idea of the figures. But then why would she accuse uh, Comrade Julius Abure of misappropriating monies that were uh, generated from campaigns? Is this an indication that monies are given directly to the chairman and not into the coffers of the party? Well, I think I, I just said that she has, has a motive, very deep motive. And one of them, I will, uh, I will say here, is she wants her tenure to be elongated. And when she failed in that bid, she now wanted all the members of NWC to go by this allegation. If you are saying that you're not in charge of uh, money in the banks, you will sign it to the bank, the chairman and secretary. Three of them are sent to the, our account. And there's no money withdrawn that... Oluchi Opera is not a signatory to. There is no function have gone to Abuja that another person paid or accepts Oluchi Opera. Any money transferred to any person for payment is being transferred by Oluchi Opera. So I have never seen chairman transfer money to any person in the name of the, in the, name of the, in the, name of the party. Neither have I seen secretary done that. There have been Oluchi doing the whole job. The statement read by Oluchi for all the and purposes were written for, for her by Anselm Erabe. Who? Suspended. Who's Anselm Erabe? Okay. Suspended leader of our party. Who is working with uh, 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 Lamida Papa. So all the statements, I uh, would have read it several times and we have read what um, Anselm wrote before to suppose them. And saw that it's coming from this is hand of uh, yes, Esso, but the voice is the voice of uh, <laughs> Jacob. So we are aware. The only thing that what they are doing there is that they want to scatter the party. And let me tell you, the whole party is a threat to the ruling party. Very big threat to APC. Because look at what happened in the new state today. Today? During the, uh, the, the, the red on, okay. the new south. All right. The army, came, the army that was deployed there was more than the voters. What thing happened? Who will see that um, that kind of meeting of our military men and come out to vote? The other was if you are not coming here to vote, don't come there. 
So the party in power is afraid of labor. And people are gullible. The party can give out an amount of money to destroy a party. And we have seen that in that young lady. She's too forward, asking of money. All the money paid to us as neck was paid by Oluchopra. So why is she accusing the chairman? You say I am not involved in any financial dealings, but you're able to mention 3.5 billion as accrued revenue after sale of four. Where did you get the, the figure? Or she demanded that she will be giving choice properties. Giving property in a choice area in Abuja for her to mellow down. And the person said, Why are you going to get the money? Okay, you are giving an allegation that chairman has property in London, in France. So, with that evidence, not to mention one area, the address, how we bought the money, the amount you bought the money. So, all the money we have spent in going to court by a group, under a papa, his group, who sponsored it? It was, it was from the party fund. So, I tell us that a group sponsored that court allegations with his personal money. So from the from the party coffers, and it took millions because you go from one court from court of Abuja for IFCT, you go to Benin, you go back to Abuja court, you go to court of Api, you go to Spring court. You know how this thing works? Tens and hundreds of millions of naira. So who will now pay for that money? She's not talking about that. She's talking about Abure because she wants Abure to go. They want Abure to go. So Abure how, how would they? Uh, who will benefit if Abure goes? Those who want to spoil the party. Abure has toyed for this party. Abure was chairman or secretary under Salem when nobody was even buying forms. When Mimiko was governor, it was Salem that was the chairman. She alleged that there was there were withdrawals after the death of Salem. For which account? It was Oluchi and Abure that were operating the account at the death of Salem. So how could Abu alone go to bank yeah. and withdraw money? Because so obviously there has to be a second yes, signature. Yes, Jama was Jama was dead. So you see, there is no logic in what Oluchi was a kind of saying in lower party. We are seeing it that it is that hand of uh, SO voice of Jacob from the ruling party APC and some PDP people who wants to destroy lower party, but they cannot because labor is a movement. So. Again, what comes to mind is how many factions do you think you have within the Labour Party? Because you've consistently mentioned Lamidi Apapa. Uh, Lamidi Apapa. Person are you sure? Five, five of them. One has gone. One, one, one went to PDP to contest the senatorial seat under this law. He left them. Who is that? That was, uh, I can't remember his name, from the north. He left them. And we have suspended this by, by the law. During convention, there was a decision of expelling them from the party. And Oluji is following suit. Because Oluji cannot, this wide allegation of that is coming from nowhere, remain a member of that party. Unless there's an apology for, from her to the other party. Because at the end of six months, we're going to review her membership of the party. She has benefited immensely from the other party. If any person is to complain, the Labour Party is not on Lord Chopra. I'm telling you from Grapevine, if any person is to complain, if chairman opens his mouth and tell, tell you about the dealings with Lord Chopra in that Labour Party, you will pity the chairman. Because all she is always with the chairman in his office. We, I, I, I do the set of form. I, I took any many of them to Abuja. And once you go, once you be there, so you don't leave until we make all the payments, transfer them, then you go and issue receipts. Chairman never collected one naira cash from anybody. I can swear, yo, Chairman, I can swear. Abure has suffered for this party. There was a time there was. That is, you can swear that when you were in that yes, office, in that you, you did not hand over presence, any money. Yes, in my presence, yes. Right. Not outside me. Mm. In my presence, he never collected cash from anybody. He never. Every morning they were all paid. Is it a dogger that you pay money? Is it uh, Ibuchu, little Ibuchu? Or is it um, uh, Chidi Obeta? Or is it the Okezia that will give you cash? 
They transfer the money to the account. Just like anyone here doing this local government election, all the money paid into our account, we are transferred by the candidates into our account of UBA. If you want the statement, you can get it done. See all of them. How we are spending the money. So tomorrow, someone will get up and say, Kasmia collected billions, hundreds of millions on that and I'll spend it alone. I mean, I, I was coming to ask that because uh, uh, as uh, uh, the neighbors will say, as you are burying someone, you're also preparing for your own. Oh, yes. Yeah, but of course, it's not a funeral at all. Uh, is, is, the, is, the, is, is there an uneasy calm in the Enugu Labour Party? The, the, because since after the election, and since after the rerun, and since after the complaints about how the reruns were done, we haven't heard much from your party. We've just, we've just heard from one or two of the candidates. What is your party doing? Well, um, very soon we are going to convene a meeting, a Sunday emergency meeting. Like after today's uh, rerun, and then we out, which never um, was heard by the Bionic. The party will come up with a statement. And then you see this crisis at the national is taking our our time because someone like me would not like the no party to go the way of other smaller parties. No party is a big party in Nigeria today that if election is done very well, the no party will bring other positions in both states, national assembly and so on. So if we allow no party to go, are you going to go back to just like Wiki said cancer and malaria? Even though it went back to the same cancer. <laughs> So some of us would not like to go back to... Yeah, well, but he, he insists that he has not joined the APC. Well, uh, mm -hmm. he can still say that, but we know that he has a one leg in PDP, one leg in APC. A man who wants to feed his uh, his own children at the same time. So, But the Labour Party, uh, anyway, this, that is by the way, mm -hmm. the Labour Party, we are trying to take our time. Because a lot of things, like today, somebody that accosted me at a one and said, your members were in the National House of Assembly. And they passed a law yesterday that what people should sponsor all government elections. Very funny bill. Very funny bill. How could the government send a bill that Labour Party that parties should sponsor government elections? Where it's going to declare BDP winners at all costs. So Labour Party will bring his money. APC will bring his money. I call to bring their money, they will organize an election. We are probably said those what is the state government doing? That's why we say that it should hands off uh, cross election. They should give it to INEC. Exactly so to uh, has this been passed or they are considering it? Has been passed it? yesterday. Any assembly passed law without even public hearing. How possible is that though? It's very possible in a government that has no rules, laid and, down rules. And then I'm asking again the because... The members of our Labour Party in that place raised voice and it was suppressed because they were in number. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I mean, that, 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 that's an interesting development. Yes, I was, I was just sitting down somewhere and uh, I got a test on WhatsApp that they have passed a bill. The test came from a dog and high school guy, a member of the House of Assembly. And I, looked, I, I, I opened it and I read that I said, this is very funny. How could a governor do this? The, in the next one week, there will be a statement by the party. And you know in the party, before you go public, you must do a proper consultation with the stakeholders. That will be done. But have you seen a copy of that bill? I just, I just saw it I read it on uh, WhatsApp. It's true, uh, because I called, when they met at the call, and we saw as if it's true, that the governor has the mind of saying what people should if So if there is, it's going to cost one billion, he will not share it to political parties, 20 of us, and will contribute. And I'm sure that in the bill they will make because the big controversy electoral acts. Yeah, I mean, because I'm I'm, 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 I'm listening to that and yeah. it's sounding, it, I mean, yeah. if... The controversial of one electoral Imagine electoral. having to ask PDP, Labour Party the and the APC the and they, they should give money to INEC to organize an election. election. So meaning that he, if, if I want to take over the election, I, I'll just give them the whole money to yes. organize it. And, and do the election. So if you kind of follow that we have. I just expect this to come from the government. I guess that I guess that my question will be: Are you sure that's what the bill says? That's what the bill says. Make an inquiry. Make a call. Call the speaker. 
He will tell you. It was Ogara and um, and uh, Orebuloko that raised issue. Now this thing is antithetical to good uh, electoral process. But they were suppressed and said, I and me and me. that was the end of it. So the Labour Party will make a statement and at the end of it, we come out with, because I don't see, I don't see how we are going to manage this country with the way our leaders are thinking. They are not thinking for tomorrow. They are just thinking for today. There's no leader in this country that is looking at how do we, what do we do tomorrow? Because if they are looking at what do we do tomorrow, those, that bill is the list that should be sent to us for assembly. Because tomorrow, APC and National can now send the National Assembly because they have law in large number and say each party should be contributing one million naira to INEC every month. And if you don't do that, you know, you know, it is nobody can hear of that. So did the bill stipulate the penalty for not being able to contribute? And we're just looking at it. Uh, I don't see that, but we are, it has to. Okay. Has to. All right. We'll take a break now on the Eastern Eye. When we'll come back, we will talk more about the Labour Party at the National and the Inigo State. Stay with us. You're welcome back to the Eastern Eye here on Afia TV. We are reaching you live from Inigo South East Nigeria with me, Alex. But of course... The Eastern Eye is a program that X rays the political, social, and economic developments in the Southeast. So, the question again will be with everything that has happened around the Labour Party, especially the Enugu State, you have the high numbers in the House of Assembly, and it's still surprising that this can be pulled off right under their noses. Is that something we don't know about? Or do you think some of your members may have jumped ship? And do you still think they are your members? Well, well um, um, <clears throat> uh, the issue of jumping ship, maybe they have jumped ship spiritually. Uh, physically, you cannot do that within the confines of the Electoral Act and the law of this country. Because you must give a reason for jumping ship. But you can jump, you are, your body can be here, could be here, but their heart is somewhere. Some of them have behaved in such a way that we now see that they have been bought over. Because people going to ask this question about what is what are Labour Party people doing as House of Assembly. And uh, someone said that we elected those who cannot feed themselves. And they cannot just get there, remain poor, and come out. But if the executive dangles millions to them, some of them will chicken out. And that is exactly what, what has happened. Happened because initially we had only four lost members who were, not, who were no longer with the party, spiritually. But now I got into a level whereby we are only looking at five, six, seven that can get up at the House of Assembly and say, we don't agree with this bill openly. It's very simple. The, the answer there is that they are very poor in their pockets. And they don't have the heart to say, I have this principle. I'm a man of integrity. Whatever it takes, I will defend my party. My party is studying the situation gradually. Not something that we're just going to come out and say, we are taking this decision. At the end of the day, it's just one year, barely eight months, nine months now, they have been there. By the end of the year, the party will now see that these things are... We are not saying you should not support the government in certain bills. But it should be a bit that has human face. Where the House of not sitting, unless the governor wants a bill to be passed, it's not acceptable to us. They don't sit unless the governor wants them to sit. If you look at the speaker down to personal officers... Say that again. That, that they, they don't, don't sit, sit unless the governor wants them to sit. In any good state. That's they cannot convene a plenary without knowledge of the governor. They cannot. Oh, wow. 
They're supposed to be sitting at least three times a week or four times a week. Well, but the, if they the, sit, the last if, if they, were, I think I know they were sitting at least twice in a week. Twice in a week. Tuesday and Thursday. Yes, and Thursday. twice in a week. But this one, one month they have not sat. Until, okay, look at this bill they pass. So I have a bill that should be have been made known to the people. The party should have come for public hearing. Then we sit down, ask questions. Then they will now come up with what we have said at public hearing. When was the first, second, and third reading done? When could they shift the bill to, to, to the committee of the whole? Before the passage, before public hearing and the passage. We're not done. And these people are just there looking at the building. No, we are, we, are, we are taking our time. Not something you just come up and say, you take this decision now. No. All right. Now that you've mentioned about the government, what do you think about the, the tax policies of the Enugu State Government presently? Too escalating. Are you charging tax based on what? There's no production. The goods are imported and so high. So if somebody buys, for instance, somebody pays tax to the government, pays to SWEMA, pays to FCD, pays to local government, and at the end of the day, this is shifted to the buyers, the consumers. So are you tasking them on what grounds? You must put certain projects on ground before you start asking anybody. That is the issue. So you come up with just tasks, just because you want to generate money for development, with development. But has your party made this known? Maybe of course. In writing or by, you know, granting... Of course. In, initially, uh, we wrote... Press conference. Initially, I granted a press conference when they start increasing taxes. I said, we reject this thing in totality. But it's not a government that's listening to people. They just want to... Government house now is no good area. You can't even get there. You can't even go to government house anyhow. You don't try it. By, by, by that, you mean... Is so it the people can't get into the government house? Before you get into the government house, you will know who, who called you. Well, I mean... Not, it not should sure. be an open place for people to go and submit their complaints. Under previous government, there is a complaint desk in government house. Even if you don't read it, there should be that satisfaction that I have, I have done this. So are you saying that the, the, the policy, they, they, they are not running an open policy? It, at all. It is not even near open. Talking of open policy. Okay, look at this issue of uh, ranches at Ozo One. And the issue of ranches at Ozo One is, is, is really, really is ridiculous. How can you. Okay, Ozo One is known for agriculture. During the campaign, because they, they started playing those uh, campaign clips, he told them, I'm going to establish University of Agriculture in Ozo One. Is ranches a university? Who's the one? Do they rear cattle? Whose land? You have those consulting stakeholders. It should be something that you should do gradually by consulting the people that matters in those areas and the states. And say, do you need this? You don't go and bring the problem that is in Benue State and Plateau and come and plant it here in Benue State. Where you must have left, left as governor. You start, killing, you start hearing all these killing 100 persons, 30 persons, 80 persons in a community. So the policy, the, policy, the policy has no human face in the first place. So we reject the totality, the establishment of ranches in Ozo one low government area. Establish the first of agriculture, establish agricultural uh, private areas, build houses in, in the farm, people will live there, and farm. I have mentioned that if you do that in Ozo one you do that in Oboka, Nara, and Iri area, then do that in in um, in um, Ibeze North, Ete area, where you can run for almost two miles before getting to um, um, Kogi State. You see vast land, line follow. So the government doesn't think. I want to satisfy the you are paymasters. Who's paymasters? The people that is listening to. The governor is trying to satisfy his paymasters. 
So are you saying Ranchis, that, uh, Ranchis is not known is not known by, by us. Are you saying that the governor has a paymaster? Uh, uh, what one would think that the governor is at least with the example with the, of any good state. No, 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 okay. no, no. You are getting it wrong now. Mm. Everybody has a paymaster. All right. So who would that be? Everybody has a he knows he's a paymaster. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let, let's look at the Labour Party again. And with all the crisis rocking your party, do you think that your party will survive all these issues and be stronger we'll come out by stronger. 2027? We'll come out stronger. And, uh, uh, okay, well, let me, do you think that Peter B will run into My happiness is that Peter B has said I'm not leaving the whole party. He said it before me. Yes, but will he run? He will run. Who is going to run? We don't want all these people that are rejected from parties to come and disturb us. Obi has a pedigree. He's a man of independence. Is the man that Obi said, in fact, why, why I respect Obi so much is that he has made himself known to Nigerian people. He said, I received five million pounds in my business in Britain, Great Britain, that the Queen and King Charles writes to him every year, commending him. Who will do that? Five million pounds every year. He has the money to sponsor an election. He has the money. But he's not the one that will bribe you, bribe his way. He wouldn't bribe his way. Obi is very hard to give you his money for bribe. For bribing. He cannot do that. So Nigeria is waiting for him. All this is doing, happening now is just will pass away one day. Because we have, we have seen that Tinubu has no nothing for Nigerians. Dollar is 1,005. In the next one month, two months, we 1,007, 1,008, 2,000. Today, such water is now 50 naira for one. It's coming. So you say and he's subsiding, he's trying to put subsidy on that who's going for Hajj. So so you think that if Peter B had won, things would have been different. What you have done is you are doing a different thing. You have removed the subsidy but with a different method. I don't support subsidy, but it must be something that must be done gradually. You don't just shave a man's head. Boom. It must be done gradually, step by step, step by step, till you now shave the whole head. Because it looks like my own. Yeah, because I'm just, you know, when you said it, uh, you got my, your, your <laughs> yes, hair, you got my attention. I mean, if you try to shave it in a hurry, uh, there will be a lot of, uh, a, lo a lot, a lot of bruises. Uh, and you go down, you go to hospital now. <laughs> so OB will do it gradually and things will become better. No, look, we are not smiling in this country. People are suffering. People are suffering. So you, you are confident that your party will come back stronger in 2027? Do election properly in this country, will be will become our president. And then Enugu State? Enugu State will remove PDP. Why well, remove them now? Why are they bringing military men to Enugu South? I say military men that we, that we are there. We are more than the voters. Hmm. Why? I like people to go and turn print and go. Now the results. Let the person go. Bright Ingen is our candidate. He won the election. He has almost 4,000 votes outstanding. And that April unit is 4,006. So which means they want to win. No person, no person should vote for a Labour Party. If they want to win. So write the result, I write 4,002. Then you declare PDP man winner. Why is it done? No, we should do things as humans now. They should declare bright in getting winner, winner. So has the result been announced? For where we have not heard it. Nobody voted until six o'clock. They all left. The woman insisted that votes must count. Are you aware that Jim Obudu himself came to Enugu, Enugu South today asking them to declare PDP? A man with so respect so much had to drive at his age drove to Labour Party, um, uh, uh, Government Supreme School, I mean, and uh, was this asking is, them to this declare This is something you're order. saying. Is this something you witnessed? Yes. I was there. He came. And I, I was wondering, how can this kind of election, somebody has won? Well, I think we'll keep our fingers crossed until we'll see whatever what is announced. And I have to thank you so much, Barista Kasmia Abu. Chairman Labour Party, Enugu State, thank you for your insights and, of course, your submissions here on the Eastern Eye. Thank, thank you so much. God bless. That's